Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Scorpio for the whole of March. This is a full on and intense month. There's going to be fabulousness singing, dancing, partying, crying, laughing, carousing, and learning a lot of deep soul learning. Let's start at the beginning. We have a new moon in your position of joy and happiness and creativity. Hooray! On this new moon on the first, you can step into a time where you are creating in a new way and feeling good about that. And also, there's new types of pleasure, laughter, and joy coming into your life, which is great. Now, the slide, and Mars is going retrograde, which is, you know, quite challenging for all of us energetically. But the most important thing on the second is Saturn. The Lord of Responsibility is in your sign and it's going retrograde. This is a pain in the ass, and that is because there's a part of you that's been re on, you've been working really hard on this whole responsibility stuff, and it's like, okay, I suppose I better be more responsible and like, you know, try to claim responsibility for yourself. I hope. If not, you've probably been hiding under the duvet, going, holy hell, what am I doing? It's very hard out here. You know, Saturn doesn't take any prisoners. You know, you've got to take down the duvet and leap into life. However, Saturn is going retrograde. It's making you look at the past and at how you accepted or didn't accept responsibility in the past. And it's making you aware, actually, of where you are today. It's connected to all of your decisions and choices that you made in the past, connected to responsibility. So, you know, I'm an Aries. I find responsibility highly unpleasant. <laughs> but, you know, I do it anyway. But, you know, I get you. Saturn is not good, you know. It, it can be tough, a tough lesson. But ultimately... It is for your greater good. And when we do take on Saturn's lessons, then we become true warriors and we can do anything because we have surrendered to our own will that may be stopping us being all that we can be. Now, and that was all very deep, but the ground wars are trying on the ninth is making you open up your mind to new ideas and making you very psychic actually. actually. There'll be intuitions about what ideas are gonna work and you will be full of different ideas and eager and excited about life. There's a full moon on the 16th. It's a great time for you to manifest your reality, to mix with people, to socially network, to cast out some desires for the future. Mercury, the planet of communication, is making you <laughs> laugh and flirt and be joyful. Happy days. And there's also a full planet stellium in creativity, joy and happiness. Again, I shall say, your prescription for this month is to be joyful and to find a way to be joyful and to push your way through anything that's stopping you laughing and creating because that is the most powerful thing that you can do this month. Now, having said that, the Cardinal Grand Cross on the 17th is a little bit challenging, um, but it's saying to you, trust your intuition and don't question it. You know, sometimes you can overanalyze things. You have a gut feeling, you feel good about something, and then you go, well, hang on a minute, blah, 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 mate may not work because of this that and the other optimism is the key through this we have a ground water trine on the 19th and obviously for you ground water trines are very very powerful being a water sign and also the moon is in your sign in this particular train and that's trining mercury and neptune it's conjunct your happy place and trining jupiter in your adventurous place so it may be the time to have an adventure to travel to do something odd and different because that will give you enlightenment. It's great. I, I won't mind being a Scorpio this month. We also have on the 24th, Mercury, Neptune, Chiron, conjunct in your happy place, sextiling Pluto, your ruler, in your position of communication and trining Jupiter. So there's a part of you, again, all I can say is learning through joy and happiness and creativity. And you may come up with some incredible creative ideas that touch people and help heal the whole. It's full on. It's good. And finally, we have a new moon on the 30th, which is saying it's time to step into a time of looking after yourself nutritionally, mentally, emotionally, and sexually. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.